Uh, but and I, 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 but I perform a lot of different composers, um, one of which is Peter Ferguson. And um, the genesis of this this uh, cycle is is pretty fabulous, I think, because uh, I, I, this is the first time we've met, in fact. And um, and we were on Facebook friends, and I didn't really know him. But this guy, who, there'd be all these kind of people on Facebook going, "Here's my cat. Um, here's my recipe. Oh, I'm so grateful." Or you know, all this kind of stuff that people put on Facebook. And then there'd be this guy from America going, "Gee, I've got a boil on my ass, and I can't sit down." And I'm like, "Oh God, I'm gonna go off and masturbate somewhere." And I'm like, "Bloody hell!" You know, it just made me laugh because I just think it was so uh, vile and. Uh, Kind of fantastic um and and sort of no uh, like most people have some kind of filter or barrier um between them and the outside world which seemed to be apparently missing in this person so <laughs> i was sort of intrigued by that um yeah also because i'm quite interested in uh spent a lot of my youth um in comedy in fact um i'm quite interested in that the timing of it and bringing that into different kind of um, contemporary music practice um, and uh, I worked with a composer in England called Richard Thomas and we made a, a musical, for want of a better word, called Jerry Springer the Opera. And um, I mean, that was really about uh, combining filthy lyrics with kind of beautiful tunes and the effect that that could have. So I suppose in, in a nutshell, that's sort of what I do. I'm, I'm kind of in, I, I sort of ex I, um, regard everything I do as an extended vocal. <laughs> That's it. Bam. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, I... um, do you want to say something about your piece? You have to unmute. Okay, I'm muted, Peter. <clears throat> First of all, this piece is not spectacle. This is a real, legitimate, viable piece. It's a statement about uh, social media platforms and uh, the disingenuousness that people uh, purvey when they get on here. And uh, I'm making fun of all that. And I'm just profoundly amazed that nobody understands uh, what I'm doing. So, you know, if people get offended by what I'm saying, uh, you know, get over yourself. This piece is uh, graded from uh, 13 tone equal temperament to quarter tones. Uh, there are small vignettes for piano, and I had uh, John, uh, uh, not John Eaton, but uh, who's who's the uh, the microtonal composer that made. Uh, graded piano and works uh easily blackwood e easily blackwood so it's an homage to him and there's 22 short cantos uh based on uh my facebook posts there's 22 because schoenberg wrote pierre lunaire and the uh, of 21 pieces short little pieces so i was also influenced by the structure of that uh, although this is not about the Paris, uh, you know, uh, nighttime clown music, this this is just various aspects of my life and uh, just being uh, outrageous in a public forum. And uh, I treat each microtonal tuning vis-a-vis uh, -vis the voice. I know. It, you're not hearing it here. This this section here is essentially the, the quarter tones, quarter tone piano, or um, probably on, on its way up to quarter tones. I think the this starts from eight, 18 through uh, 24 tone equal temperament. Um, well, you know, Johnny, your system is essentially you can go up through infinity with uh, the overtone series. So theoretically, every every interval is uh, legal. But I like to use systems because it shows intent. My intent is to have just various collections of tunings playing off each other, precisely because of the accidental 
intervals that it does present to the listener. So it's it's as much of a surprise to me as it is to everyone else. And though this is not uh, polytempic, this is really just uh, voice and support. But there is a, a equality. It, it's not the piano is not just supporting the voice. They're integral and they're aspects of each other. Okay, so that's terrific intro. Um, everyone here knows Peter. Uh, Lori, it looks like it's up to you now. Um, you could talk and then uh, just change the original sound and then share and uh, we should be good. P Peter, just um, how am I going to receive your text? Just I don't... I'm just going to start posting on my wall. So just look okay. at my wall and uh, start whenever you feel like it. just oh and by the way i'm posting uh, i'm sorry go ahead with yeah me. i was just about to say that to everyone that um, remember to mute yourselves once the performance starts because it will interrupt so go on peter <laughs> um this is <clears throat> i also like to write words so i'm posting a uh, little short story snippets it's early for me so uh, i'm my brain is a little foggy so so this is my material and probably something I would post anyway. So I'm using this material for Lori's lyrics. Lori. Okay, so Lori. <laughs> All right. So. So Laurie, Laurie, I'm gonna just post these. Uh, Can you just post something okay? on your wall now? Yes. You, you haven't seen it yet. No. Okay. You can always start singing what I've already posted in my other posts, right? And then these will surely come up within the next few minutes. Ah. Here you go. Got it. I have to keep refreshing the thingy thingy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So here we go. I'm going to begin. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. Oh, 
in a few minutes. And now it is a sin as I am afraid. You'll have a bit of those doors of business. Come, Rachel. Short body shock.
I think that's it. Had to finish. Bravo! Bravo! Yes. Bravo! Bravo! So that was a snippet, not a snippet, but a segue. The it's last a dangerous hit. Oh shit! <laughs> the last cantos are segued and uh, un unscripted for Laura. I'm sorry, I've been calling you Laura for three years, so you're Laurie. I didn't know, so it's okay. fine. <laughs> but Laura, uh, so Laura is just half of Laurie. Yeah. <laughs> it made you seem even more uh, personal and friendly, like you have a long time uh, speaking uh, experience with her. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a planetary alignment. Yeah, I thought that was terrific, and I'm so glad we made all those changes to Zoom. Otherwise, we wouldn't have heard any of it. Yeah, it was amazing. This is being recorded, yes? Yeah, I'll have a recording for you of this. Great. Wow. Uh, Sorry, I'm any, uh, any comments from the audience? I just wanted to say that was terrific. Uh, it was, um, I think, the first utterance of AAA where Laurie was screaming that and watching Peter's headphones fall off <laughs> of him at the same time. <laughs> just the composer musician dynamic there. It was, um, yeah, what a terrific work of art that you both made together. And uh, congratulations to you both. That was so invigorating. I loved it. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was absolutely terrific. Quite a dynamic piece. Uh, what I'm very sorry, I didn't catch the. What are the instruments, or is, or are those electronics? I'm, I'm it's, sorry. I must have it's not. It's a digital uh, microtonal piano from a very good sampled program and using Scala files. Dot SCL, and uh, that's it. Uh, are you using a synthesizer or just a computer program on a computer? It's, it's a synthesizer with a keyboard. Yes. Okay. No, but it's it, it's a software. I, I understood that, but okay. it kind of, but it should be used with a synthesizer with a keyboard, right? Yeah, otherwise uh, it's very difficult still to get the uh, appropriate microtone <laughs> for piano. And it sounds dynamic. It, it, it felt like there were several instruments there, not just one. And the singing was quite also accomplished, very virtuosic. I don't think any, not very few singers can do as much. So that's must be excellent. Yeah, Laura is very awesome. I, want to just, I guess uh, 
we have to like take turns. I'm sorry. Um, you know, it's a difficult thing. It's a chamber music we're working on. But Meredith has been raising her hand. That's why I need to go to Meredith. We don't raise hands even, but but it's helpful. <laughs> go ahead, Meredith. I'm a good student. Um, uh, yeah, fantastic, Laura. That was amazing, and um, definitely my cup of tea. Uh, wow, because I, you know, I don't know if you know, I'm also a vocalist, and I've done a lot of extended vocal stuff, but not recently, and it just kind of, I don't know, was wonderful to hear you do it so artfully. It was amazing. Um, I, I guess I have a lot of questions that are formulating, but first of all, um, I'm just curious about the process here with Peter. Was this, and I, maybe I missed the first part of it. Is this all improvised or was it, um, no, or the, is this the, a composed? The, the piece is structured that <coughs> the first half of, it, half of it is 100% composed by Peter but then um the second I guess about it's about half is um Peter the conceit is that Peter puts things on Facebook live and then I perform or I vocalize those I'm like his voice as, as such um for, for those posts so it's kind of like it's it's got two halves um because I, I kind of think the liveness is, is quite exciting, so I like I like that interaction between something going on in real time and, um, and something well, actually, quite, quite fixed. It, it's a forty-minute total piece, and uh, the last about twelve minutes, uh, Laura Lori improvises my uh, posts to the piano music. It's fantastic. It just reminds me of a lot of stuff when I did when I was in grad school. Uh, when I was working with Joe Maneri, there was there was that sort of abstract expressionism that I just love. <laughs> um, mm. But I, I I heard all your influences; it was amazing. Um, I guess one of my questions is like, wh where do you feel, Lori, that you spring from? Like, if, if there or is there ma are there many sources? Because I heard so much going on there. Like, I heard the bel canto. Yeah. I heard this sort of Diamanda Galas kind of yeah, like just yeah. pure unadulterated, just like let it out screaming. Um, I heard a, some jazz and um, more, you know, Germanic expressionism. Like the as I love Peter's expression, his description of um Pierrot, the <laughs> nighttime the nighttime clown music that was yeah <laughs> but yeah so where are you where do you feel like you're coming from i'm just curious um well i would say that technically i'm very rooted in the bel canto tradition um in terms of my basic um kind of upkeep of my instrument if you like but mm -hmm. i think stylistically um uh I, I don't have so many students but the one or two that i do have i i because there's all this thing like i have the, the, sing, the singing teacher I had that I liked the most, he said, one thing he said to me was, ah, oh, we've really brought out the animal in your voice. And I kind of thought, oh, he's so the teacher for me. This is a really cool thing to aim at. Uh, so so he, he felt it was a case of stripping away layers till you get to the, I think that everyone has many voices because the idea of your one true voice, it's like saying, well, because you're, you're a different person really in any situation, aren't you? I mean, I don't think I've got multiple personality disorder or maybe I have, but you know, w w when you contextualize yourself differently, I think it's the same with a voice and um, you can choose where to place it. Um, but I do think that this bel canto um, technique I have, it means that the basic breathing is there and the whole upkeep of the larynx and all that kind of shit so that it really functions and doesn't, um, so you're very attuned to because people go, ah, oh, you're going to ruin your voice. I'm like, no. Actually, everyone I know who just does this kind of thing, all the singers, they don't ruin their voices. The ones that, that ruin their voices are the ones that bang away at Verdi the whole time, and then they go, ah, I've got modules, ah. It's, um, I think this kind of thing is quite liberating for this, the, the instrument. And yeah, so it's like um, I've sort of picked up a lot of influence. And I, when I was at uni, I learned, it was a fantastic course, and you learned Inuit music, and you learned chromatic music, and then it, I did a project with Sevda musicians, and I'm very curious about all these different musics without wanting to appropriate them. But I think you can, I think as a as a singer, you you can sort of take on certain aspects of things. And, I and I'm completely on the same page as you. I mean, yeah. when I I, I, t I teach also, but um, I, I don't know. I 
Bel Canto is a really great bedrock, I believe, as well. Um, you know, my, one of my first teachers, low larynx, low support. It was very simple, low larynx, low support. But then there's all those layers that you can put on top of that. And, and I, I come from a rock tradition. I come from avant-garde, all these things. It's all part of the melting pot. And it just makes you more interesting. I mean, you're, you're fantastic. You're amazing. Your technique is amazing. Oh, thank you. No, it really, it's <laughs> really, it's really, it's really, it was really <laughs> wonderful to hear you. It was inspiring to me, you know. Well, I mean, I, when I was, when I was <laughs> learning, teaching, my, I mean, I locked myself. I mean, I, I remember when I was young, I couldn't really sing. So the um, C3 and the C4 above that, yep. I couldn't sing above C4. And I built my instrument. I built it like like scent by scent. C4 or C5? Like um, middle C is C4, right? Are, you, are we on the same page oh, here? So, sorry, uh, that, then I got C5? the terminology wrong. So middle C, C5. Middle C, and, okay, yeah. yeah. So that, so it's just- Well, you've got like C7 now, I think. <laughs> and, and, and higher, but I, I just really worked. I worked and, yeah. um, and I, I still I still work on it. Yes. Yeah. And also just one, I, mean, I know I'm dominating here, but I'm just, I'm sorry, it's just so inspiring. That we're also on the same page as far as the bird as bird song. Um, I don't know if you know that we did a my John, my John Catler and I, my my uh, partner, did a project called Birdhouse where we took microtonal uh -huh. transcriptions of bird song, and I, I kind of it was like the inspiration. I always love birds, and um, <coughs> uh, so we we dug into Messiaen and just kind of taking that his impulse, but then going a step further. So I put, I put my email in the chat. You must send me some links because that sounds absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to connect more about your APRA. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, Peter, for your wonderful work. Um, and uh, thank you. I'll, I'll stop talking. <laughs> You're right. I really love the piece. I must say, I think I think the piece is phenomenal. And um, because I, I sing so much music, so many different composers and um, I, I kind of some of them I enjoy doing and some of them I do because I'm a singer right but this I think is absolutely it's a superb piece. yeah thank you Peter for writing it I think it's absolutely fantastic a rare to compliment have that in my repertoire yeah make the most of it thank you I love Joe, having question. you singing yeah, I to, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, Having uh, listened to the CD of uh, Peter's uh, piece, it's important to know that this uh, last section is kind of a climactic ending to a piece that's been up till then completely composed. The, this liberty, which comes at the end that uh, Laurie uh, used so, uh, so well. In other words, a voice that just kind of shows everything it can possibly do in reacting to this text is a kind of culmination of a, of a, of a, a very big piece. So the, the, the rest of the piece is, is, is quite composed. The, the microtones are quite precise in terms of the piano part as well as the vocal part. So that when she comes in and she does what she does, at the end, it's kind of an explosion of total freedom and liberty. I think it's important to know that, that that's the context of this piece, that it's that the whole piece is not like this. It is a, a kind of, in terms of the form of the piece, it's important that it ends like this. Am I correct, Peter, in saying what I'm saying? Yes. It, I'm always very uh, aware of dramaturgy. Obviously, this uh, whole thing is very dramatic, and it, it, it is supposed to be. So it is the perfect ending. Uh, some of the earlier pieces are really short and even quiet. Uh, there's one, the beginning, Lori is, uh, the first canto, she does uh, uh, humi, uh, the kind of throat singing. And by the way, all this entire thing is uh, written down and it's on the internet archive, the, the score rather, the score and the libretto, which are essentially Facebook pages. Uh, all, all of my music is up for free on the archive. I, I don't have a publisher yet. So, and I, you know, I, in case I died, I didn't want uh, my works to just be thrown into the dust heaps of history. So I put everything up on the archive. And if anybody's interested, I can. You can, I can give you a link to it, to the score. But yes, 
Gerard, it is the perfect ending to it. Did you guys hear that or am I still muted? Yeah, we oh, heard we that. Hear that was great. If, can you if, put Peter, it in the if chat. you're willing, I would put love if, yeah, please. I was just going to say, please put it in the chat. I personally am excited to check it out. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, I'll do that. I'll put it in the chat. And, and thank you for that insight for the compositional form. Um, is it Gerard? I, I really appreciated hearing that. And I'm just looking <laughs> forward to listening to the recorded version all the more now, too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Peter, and Laura. Oh, go, go on, Gerard. Recorded quite strong. Yeah. Thank you, Gerard. Yeah, You're Peter welcome. and uh, Laurie, it, it was absolutely terrific. I mean, I, I, I loved the uh, the whole concept. The also that the, that the, this you know this is ending like is kind of bending the rules also by uh, the voice technique and the uh, you know the, um, the war structure i mean it, it was just amazing and uh, i could feel uh, like a, um, something a little bit similar to uh, george ligeti's um, mysteries de macabre which oh, don't yeah. get is great uh, and especially yeah. the realization by barbara <laughs> hannigan comes into my mind i mean your energy is really similar to hers and it's just amazing perfect combination i'm loving it absolutely great job peter beautiful interpretation laurie i mean i'm blown away <laughs> that's great thank you so much uh, all, all i'm going to say here is this is exactly what i was hoping for you know this i thought it'd be a nice way to start our party today you know and it, and, it, and it seems to have done just that I see a coffee salute. You know, my new piece, uh, Meredith, is actually for soprano. I, I, I'm not writing it for you because you don't want to sing this. Coffee, coffee. And, and I don't think Laurie wants to sing it either. <laughs> it, it's called uh, Coyote Takes a Coffee. Oh, wow. I love it. I would love to see it. <laughs> well, it's going to be next September, you know.